OK, let's get graphing. Here's our set of data that we'll graph. The first thing we should do is determine which is the independent variable, the variable that the scientist controls. It's usually found on the left side of the data table and usually changes in set increments. It'll be plotted on the x-axis. The dependent variable changes because the independent variable is changing. It's usually found on the right side of the data table and it will be plotted on the y-axis of the graph. According to our data, it looks as depth in kilometer will be our x values, while basalt melting temperatures will be our y value. We're going to plot the data so it spans about three quarters of the graph paper. So doing some simple math, I suggest that we make the melting point temperature change by increments of 25 for every three squares, while depth should increase by 100 kilometers for every two squares if we don't start from zero. Just a reminder, we're choosing these increments knowing that we would like the data to fit about three quarters of our page. We're not starting from zero because uh, in the depth range uh, on the y-axis, there's no data points between zero and 1,000 kilometers. The type of graph that is standard in physics is the scatter plot. So we'll be doing a scatter plot where we just plot the points and look for a pattern. We'll draw our x and y-axis and we'll label it with the name and the units and brackets. Now that we have our axes drawn, we're going to plot our points. We're going to put a dot down and put a circle around it. Now that we plotted our points, we're going to draw a line. Most people would like to draw a straight line connecting the dots, but in physics and in most sciences, for that matter, we're going to draw uh, a line of best fit. Now the line of best fit is a prediction of what your data would be if everything was perfect. It's going to be a smooth line. It does not need to touch the points, nor does it need to split the points. It does need to be smooth, though. And if it is a straight line, you need to draw the line with a ruler. Now, a hint here for drawing a line of best fit is to tilt your graph up on its edge and stare down the points to see if you can see where the line of best fit might be. Last but not least is a title. It must be descriptive, and often it is the y variable versus the x variable. In this case, our title is melting temperature versus increasing depth. Now that you've finished making a graph, you should refer back to the acronym GATAS to ensure that you haven't missed anything important.